Yo, 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 what it do, YouTube? It's your favorite pilot, Conscious Buddha, and we are here with episode 36. That is right, episode 36 of our Howard University Dynasty Rebuild. If you have made it this far, if you've been here since day one, you know that we are having our greatest season so far. And we got the biggest game of the year coming up. Our game against Hampton Institute. We will kick the ball off to Hoyt. Hoyt on the return. Hoyt will break a tackle and he gets popped. And everyone knows that this game is the make or break of the season. I don't care what we got going on with our record. This is the game we have to win every year. Big tackle there. Third and 11. Murphy dropping back and he will get popped by Cumby. Just like that, Hampton is off the field. Howard's on the field. But we find ourselves in a third and 22. Being real sloppy with the ball. And we will throw the ball out of bounds. And we will go for it here on fourth and 22. Showing no respect to our rivals and Lamar Milton picks up the big first down 25 yards on fourth and 22 and he has been playing lights out coming off of a career high 14 grabs last week against Virginia and you gotta think that he's poised to have another big game Grimes dropping back looking for a man has Lawrence over the middle that is another big play Third and 12 again. Another third down this drive. And Milton will sky up for the grab. That is number one in this game. And I don't want to give any spoilers. But I don't think that's going to be the last time he touches the end zone in this matchup. He has the height advantage, the speed advantage, and just the overall skill advantage over his corner. This should be a big game for Lamar Milton. Hampton takes over. Three minutes left to go. McDougal will get laid out. McDougal gets absolutely punished. We got guys in the stands with no shirts on. That has not happened at a Howard game in real life. Come on now. It's all about the drip when you're on Georgia Ave. Second and 10. Ball at the 44. Murphy dropping back. And that is picked off by Malik Milton. Malik Milton says, I see you, brother, on offense. I got to get one, too. He gets an interception. It is third and 10. Howard has been in third down situations all game as Triena will make the big grab getting down inside the 10 yard line second and goal from the six Grimes dropping back what does he have what does he have he throws it across the middle it is picked off it is picked off Grimes did a good job protecting the ball last week had an interception last week as we get the big safety there we won't do anything with it Hampton will get the ball back Hampton Institute down nine zip as we start the second quarter. I did not think it would be this close one quarter into this game as Anderson gets the sack. Anderson's been a sacking machine. Howard will take over. Grimes rolling to the right. Finds Chris Lawrence. Chris Lawrence is now inside the five-yard line. Another big drive. Can we punch it in this time without turning the ball over? And yes, we can. Grimes will feed it in between four defenders. That is touchdown pass number two. Touchdown catch number two for Milton. I told you he would see the end zone again, but that is crazy. In between three defenders, four defenders if you count the guy rushing over to help out. Big time play. Howard will kick the ball off to Peterson on Hampton. And Peterson has space, and this is getting absurd. This is getting absurd. He will break the tackle and take it into the end zone. We have not had any success with kickoff return coverage over the last couple weeks. As Lawrence will get the return, Lawrence breaks the tackle, and Lawrence has the sideline, and Lawrence will take it all the way to the house. Now, you know it's something weird going on. When we're 10 games into the season, and we only have two kickoff return touchdowns and not a single one has Malik Milton's name on it but that's how it's been this year Harris has the first kick return touchdown and our tight end our backup tight end Chris Lawrence with the second kick return touchdown of the season as we get the sack here bring up fourth down but let's talk about that coverage again let's talk about that coverage again we let up God knows how many over the past couple weeks two against Notre Dame as Triena makes the fourth down grab Two against Notre Dame, one against Penn State. That's already three that we've let up just in the past three weeks alone. Cameron will break a tackle, and he will fumble the ball. I just gave us so many props for hanging on to the ball last week against Virginia, and we already got two turnovers as McDougal is popped. As McDougal is popped. Second and 15. 
in the shadow of our end zone. Murphy dropping back, doesn't have much space, throws it up. Stewart is trying to get the interception, but he doesn't. You got to think we're going to look for another safety here. We're going to send the house third and 15 from the one. It's got to be a run play. It's got to be. He's dropping back the pass, and he is popped by Bailey. Bailey on the sack. That is safety number two this game. Safety number two. Another fourth and long, and Howard is going for it once again. This is getting out of hand as he throws up to Mays. You couldn't even see Mays in front of number 22. But Grimes knew where he was and put that ball in perfect position for him. Grimes is going to roll left, doesn't have anything, and he finds Lamar Milton on just a throwaway play. This is getting out of hand early. This is getting out of hand early. What is that, number three? Just finds him on a throwaway play, scrambling to his left, throws it across his body. That should have been an interception. That should have been an interception. But when you're hot, you are hot. That is four touchdowns for Lamar over the past two weeks. And he is really expanding on that number that we showed last episode as Milton gets another interception. Every single time that Lamar scores, Malik says, hey, bro, I got you. Big bro, you're not the only star on this team. That is a big play by Howard. Howard is up 32 to 6 here early, early in this game as Rodriguez will get the ball. He will get popped. It is second and six. Rodriguez will get the ball again and he will fumble. Only his second fumble of the season. The rain, the moment is too big for these players. That is now three turnovers in the game after we had a near perfect game last week. But Harris will get the ball right back. And I said it, I mentioned it against Notre Dame. I don't know if it's great defense or sloppy offense and our defense just bailing our offense out as Cameron gets to grab down the right sideline and he will get down inside the five. Howard is on the move yet again. 51 seconds to go in counting in the first half. Play action, Grimes rolling to the left, finds Chris Lawrence. That is two touchdowns now for the backup tight end. He has a kick return touchdown in this game. And now he gets on the board with a six yard touchdown catch. And Howard is putting this game away early. Howard is putting this game away early. And I wish that I could get him more involved in the pass game, but when you got a guy like Lamar Milton who can snag 14 catches and a blow and a blowout victory, it doesn't leave much space for other guys to get too involved. As Peterson will get the ball again, and Peterson is about to make his second house call of the half. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Peterson with two kick return touchdowns in this game. We let up two against Notre Dame. We let up two against Hampton? Hampton Institute? Grimes going deep. Throws it up and his boy Lamar Milton cannot come down with it. We just expect a play like that at this point. But he doesn't make it. Rodriguez will get the pitch. And he will drag his defender up near the first down marker. Third and one with 22 seconds left. And they're going to that screenplay. That screenplay was there against Notre Dame. Lamar broke it for a big one. And he will do the same thing here, getting his fourth touchdown reception of the half. Lamar Milton putting on an historic performance against the most bitter of bitter rivals. That is how you show up to play in a big time game. And I know this game doesn't mean much. This game is all about bragging rights. This isn't going to do anything for our pole position. This is a tune-up game as we get ready for Idaho next week and as we get ready for whatever bowl game we get placed in. Second and 16 here in the second half. We're finally in the second half. Lamar Milton open on the corner route. That is seven catches today. Seven catches and four touchdowns. That is a ridiculous performance as Johnson, the freshman, gets the ball and Howard is knocking on the door of the end zone yet again. Grimes dropping back. Throws it into coverage. Mays is there with the touchdown. Mays has been quiet for the past couple weeks. But he shows up big there with the touchdown in traffic. And that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Four catches, 63 yards, and a touchdown for Mays. And Grimes is on fire. Grimes is on fire this week. Protecting the ball. Hampton takes over second and nine. Clock is ticking. Howard is up 40. Big time sack by Hall, the freshman coming off the edge. And these are the big plays that we need consistently. Third and 16, Murphy dropping back, looking for a play, throws it up deep, and it is picked off on the bobble by Malik Milton. That is three interceptions on the game. A hat trick, a career high for Malik Milton. 
Howard will take back over. Rodriguez gets the ball. Rodriguez is finally in space. He's been bottled up all game, but you can't keep him down too long. He picks up a first down. Later in the drive, Rodriguez will break a tackle and pick up another first down. He will not be stopped. And you know he's got to get on the board at least once. Halfback direct snap. He'll take it into the end zone. Howard is up big in this game. Howard is up big. That is 60 points. A 60-burger he dropped on Hampton Institute. And every year, you can count on this being the game that I'm pulling out all the stops in. The backups are in. There's two minutes left. Ball gets handed off to Clancy. Clancy makes a man miss. Gets near the first down. And second and three, play action by Wilson. Wilson's going to throw it up. He has Lawrence. Lawrence will sky up for the one-handed grab. He did this last year against Hampton. He did this same thing last year against Hampton. The one-handed touchdown grab. This man is a beast. Coming up with his best overall performance in his career. Three total touchdowns. Return, uh, a kick return touchdown, sorry. A receiving touchdown. And then this one-handed monstrosity of a catch and triple coverage. He did the same exact thing last year. But now he's doing it in the new Jordan uniforms on our home field. And Jesus Christ, that looks amazing. I need the stick that he has on his gloves. I wish I had that back in my playing days. Big game by Howard. Howard wins 67-13. to Howard is now... 11-0, one game left. Like I said, I don't expect this game to move us up in the polls at all, but it's always nice to come home on our home field in senior day, sending our seniors out of here with a big win against our big rivals, Hampton Institute. Gotta love our performances like this. Gotta love playing like this. We are a well-oiled machine. Started off this season... Big wins against Notre Dame. Uh, sorry, big wins against Alabama. Big wins against Michigan, Boston College, Kansas. Obviously, the big win against Penn State, Notre Dame. And this season has been shaping up to be a great one. As you can see here, we wrap up yet another blowout victory. And we just got one game left in the regular season. We got Idaho coming up next week. We are top five team now. And... I don't know what our chances are of a national championship at this point. It would really take a lot of teams losing. It would take a lot of teams losing. Um, we need we need help. We need a lot of help. So I don't know if we could pull it off, but I do know that we could at least very possibly go undefeated this season. We could very well go undefeated this season. It sucks that our boys are getting snubbed for the season awards we have no finalists for any awards this year for the first time ever but i really do think that we can finish undefeated and hopefully get some help and maybe sneak our way into the national championship who knows but you guys know the drill until next time it's been your favorite pilot conscious buddha stay safe stay conscious i'm out of here peace out